All right, sports fans, it's time for another edition of the Sports Couch, a look at area sports through the eyes of a local athlete, coach, or super fan. The Sports Couch is made possible by People's National Bank, a full-service bank with multiple locations throughout Southern Illinois to serve you. People's National Bank, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. And made possible by Mount Vernon Title Company, your real estate closing professionals. When you need real estate closings, title searches, contract for deed, or any other legal real estate document, depend upon Mount Vernon Title Company. Who will be on the couch this morning? Let's find out. And on this edition of the Sports Couch, we're going to talk about Fairfield Mules football as we get ready to roll into week nine. And in week eight, the Mules took on the Hamilton County Foxes. Hamilton County is one of those teams that's been a little bit up and down this year and definitely could score some points, so you never knew for sure what you were going to get. And uh, they played the Mules a decent game, and Fairfield won it, though, going away 49-14 to to improve the record to 5-3 and on the season. And uh, Coach Justin Towns is, Townsend joins us on the phone right now. Coach, that, that was a big win. You get to win number five, which makes you playoff eligible. Uh, and uh, now you look ahead to week nine and playoffs after that. Yeah, um, you know, just backtrack a little bit. Friday night, uh, Hamilton County Senior Night had 16 seniors. Got to honor them as well as, uh, and we have a ton of band kids and cross country and mm-hmm. cheerleading. So it was just uh, just a great night. I, I think we honored over 30, 35 seniors. Um, so wow, um, take a lot of lot of pride in that. That uh, you know our kids are involved and. And uh, just do a great job. I mean, if you haven't heard our band, they're tremendous. Our cross country team is having an outstanding season. Um, so, uh, of course, our cheerleaders do a great job too. They've recently, in the last few years, became a competitive cheer. So they put a lot of time in. So, uh, just had a great night and uh, capped it off obviously with the with the big win, forty to fourteen. Started off a little slow, but uh, got it going in the second quarter. I think we scored twenty points in the second quarter, and we're up twenty zero at halftime and. Um, kind of took care of business in the second half and one of those games where you get everybody in and uh, get our seniors a lot of playing time. So um, it was a great night, um, and, and, and it's what we needed to do. Um, we want to continue to keep playing well, and I, I feel like we're doing that. And each each week we get a little bit better, and we're even getting a little healthier. So that's that's a positive thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, again, you're five and three, but you're not going to rest on your laurels because I know you'd love to be six and three heading into uh, the playoffs. Uh, big difference between six and three and five and four sometimes, depending upon who you're going to face in the playoffs. So right. you got Edwards County. You're going to travel over there. They're going to be going through that same thing. It's going to be senior night yep. over there. They're going to be pumped up, and uh, so you got to yep. go out and play. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, to hit on what you said first, I mean, there's going to be a – and we're, we're going to be in 3A. We're pretty, you know, 99% sure that's what's going to happen. But the thing that is unique about 3A this year is there's a bunch of 5 and 4 teams. So, I mean, just the projections, and granted these are projections, but if we can go 6 and 3, you know, we can get seated maybe as high as a 10 seed. And, uh, you know, that puts you up against a, a 7 and 2 opponent as opposed to – Five and four, you're you're playing an eight and one or a nine and zero. Oh, that's a guarantee. So mm-hmm. um, obviously, a ton riding on this game. Um, we've stressed that. You know, um, Edwards County's won two ball games this year. Uh, you know, if they could win three, that'd be uh, one of their better seasons. And uh, they do have some a good core of seniors. They've been a little banged up all year, but uh, maybe they're getting a few of those guys back. So um, we're going to have to be ready to go. Uh, and we've. We've kind of treated it just like a playoff week. Um, you know, our, our lower levels finished up on uh, Monday, so you know, the freshmen are done. So we have my younger, co- my freshman coaches now with us, and we can kind of treat it like a playoff week, so to speak, in the same type of preparation. And um, you know, what, that, that's our goal: go to go over there, go six and three. And with the rash of injuries we've had this year and some other things, I mean, I think that's a pretty tremendous regular season, but uh, definitely not going to be satisfied with that. Right. Well, you mentioned last week when we talked that uh, you were starting to get healthy again and getting the guys back. Uh, are you still pretty healthy at this point? Yeah, we're still pretty healthy, a little banged up. But, I mean, the, the big thing is, you know, I look at Miller Simpson, who's just been able to play defense for us due to the big big cast. Uh, he goes back to the doctor uh, next week on Wednesday, so there's a chance we could have him you know, completely back without the big club, you know, which allowed him to do a little bit more for us on offense. Um, you know, and then we got uh, a lineman that's a little dinged up, uh, tight ends a little dinged up, but I think those guys are going to be healthy 
um, at the very minimum for playoffs. So, um, you know, that's a positive thing because a lot of times you're, you're kind of limping to the, to the stage line a little bit. And, uh, we're not like that. You know, we've been, we've been fortunate and we've had some guys step up. We've had some sophomores that have stepped up that, you know, when the year started, they weren't really in our plans. Um, but due to other things, they've had to step up. And, uh, you know, it's kind of been the name of the game this year. It's, uh, next man up. Uh, you know, we don't want to skip a beat, and our guys have done that. And uh, I'm really proud of them for that. Yeah, that's great. Well, you know, as you look uh, to the playoffs, and, and I know you don't want to look past this game because you can't, uh, but I'm right. sure a lot of people on the street have already asked you, hey, Coach, who do you think we're going to play? You know, but nobody's got a crystal ball when it comes to the IHSA playoffs. You just don't know. I mean, you've played a lot of teams in the past from the South Central Conference, but yeah. you don't know if it'd be that or where you'd be. No, and I, it, you know, you can speculate. I've, I've seen some, and a lot, once again, you know, you've hit on it. We've got to win this week. Otherwise, you know, uh, everything changes for us. But, uh, you know, I've seen. Uh, Roxanne as a possibility. I've seen New Berlin, who's having a tremendous season for them. Um, you know, so a lot of those, you know, those are teams that potentially will be seven and two. Um, so you can kind of look at that. Our, our playoff points are okay. They're not great. They're not bad. They're you know right there in the middle. So you know there will be a few six and three teams maybe seated above us, but we'll also be seated ahead of all the five and four and a few six and three teams if we take care of business. So. Um, those are all factors. I, I do think there's a lot of games in 1A, 2A, 3A that can influence uh, some teams bumping up, bumping down. You know, I've, I've no, you know, usually Nashville's pretty solid 2A, but I've I've seen potentially they could be bumped up into 3A depending on what happens this weekend, and then so then that shuffles the seating around a little bit. Um, but they're a team that I, I've seen that we could potentially play too if they get bumped up to 3A, but they're right there on the cusp, you know. So um, regardless, you know you're going to get a great opponent. Um, and you're going to be on the road, and uh, which we've done before. So, um, you know, our guys, this group has experienced playoff wins, and, uh, you know, it's, we know it's much more than just getting there. You know, you want to try to do something in the playoff. Um, but our first goal was to get there, and we've accomplished that. So uh, now we're just trying to improve our seating. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I can't let you go without asking you about uh, another big game last week in the Black Diamond Conference. Johnson City and Cesar Valier played each other, and they both came in undefeated. Johnson City won that game 50-30. to They're both having great years. They're both going to be in the playoffs again, and I expect both of them to have some success in the playoffs. Uh, did that score surprise you any, or what was your thoughts on that game? Um, it, it didn't surprise me. I I think Johnston City playing Dixon the week prior, um, who's a tremendous 4A team mm -hmm. this year, plays in an unbelievable conference. Um, that benefited them. As long as you come out healthy, right? that game benefits you 100% because um, that's easily the best team they've played on their schedule, and I think that probably helped. Um, I think, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, Come playoff time, that game is going to be extremely beneficial. Um, you know, they're going to have a ton of playoff points, uh, regardless of what happens with them and, and Carmi this weekend. Um, so I, I, you know, Cesar has a tremendous team. They're going to be one A this year. I, it will not be. It, I will not be a bit surprised if they go on another run this year, like mm -hmm. they did last year. Um, but on the flip side, Johnston City is a pretty dang good two A team too. So yep. um, they 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 feel like they've gotten a little bit better each week as well um they're, they're playing physical up front um you know I, I, I they are giving a few more points up maybe to the better teams than they have in the past but i, I think that's going to continue to improve as well um you know they just they just got a, both those programs are just rolling right now and uh um you know we've had some success as a conference in the playoffs over the last few years i mm -hmm. mean we really can't you can't knock our conference. I mean, we've we've done a tremendous job. Um, even even the teams that are you know not the third and fourth place teams, you know they've they've represented the conference well. Right. So, um, I, I I think it'll be more of the same this year as well. All right. Well, coach, again, congratulations on the win against Hamilton County. Best of luck uh, this weekend as you take on Edwards County and look ahead to the playoffs. I appreciate the visit today. 
Okay, appreciate it. Have a good one. Okay, you too. Bye-bye.